Welcome back to Face the Truth. Today we're asking the question, where is God when tragedy strikes? Now we learn that God not only hates seeing these things happen, but he also has the power to stop them. So the question is, why doesn't he? Now the way that we will answer these questions and others is by first giving a biblical perspective about man's life or how God himself looks at the world. Now by giving you the biblical view of the world, which we are certain is the right view, then you will be able to understand the reason for the tragedies and other sufferings of men. And so the first thing we need to do is to understand exactly why we exist. And this is written in the book of Psalms 100, and the verses are 2 and 3. This is stated, Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before His presence with singing. Know that the Lord, He is God. It is He who has made us and not we ourselves. We are His people and the sheep of His pasture. And so the Bible tells us clearly that God made us to serve Him and to know Him. That is the purpose of our existence. We are not on earth just to live for ourselves, please ourselves, or think only about ourselves. We exist primarily to please God, our Creator. How? By knowing Him and serving Him. What others have mistakenly concluded is that we were made to please only ourselves. You know, some even think that God is just there for us to go to only when we need something. Or in other words, God exists just to please man as if God is some kind of genie and we just make wishes to him and he grants them. And so if that's what people are thinking, then they have already started off on the wrong foot. Now what about others who feel that because they believe in God or maybe think about him from time to time that they're fulfilling their purpose of their existence, which is to know God and to serve Him. Could they possibly be missing something? Is there more to it? And what about those who ask, why bad things happen to good people? Well, find out when we return on Face the Truth. <music> 